least today's Monday. That means it's time for family movie night. And this month is, of course, Christmas month. So I'm talking all things Christmas. And this month, I'm, for the most part, going to be reviewing TV movies because uh, that's what I do for my big part of my life is in the Hallmarkies podcast talking about various TV movies. And of course, there's a ton during Christmas. And so today I'm telling you about one of my favorites of the last few years. Really one of my favorites of all time is called Christmas Pen Pals. And this came out on Lifetime last year. And it's kind of funny because two of my favorites from last year were on Lifetime. And this year I feel like Lifetime hasn't been as good, but there have definitely been some winners. And so this Christmas Pen Pals is one of my favorites that I've ever seen. I really love it. Uh, and it stars Sarah Drew and Niall Mater. And Sarah plays this woman who's been away from town because her mother died and she's just very sad. And uh, so she hasn't wanted to kind of deal with it. Uh, she also has, a, of course, a high school boyfriend uh, that things did not end well with. Play, of course, he's played by Niall Mater. And uh, what the thing that makes this movie work so well is there's this whole concept of in the town there you can sign up during Christmas for an anonymous pen pal and you should write each other letters all holiday season which I love that concept I think it's very 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 just like rich and interesting and what makes this movie good is that it's not only about this one couple writing letters it's about the whole town and so you see all of these little kind of relationships and all of these things and I think that makes it so good and Sarah Drew is just like a revelation in this I am not a Grey's Anatomy watcher and so I had never seen her before in anything before this and I just absolutely loved her that she was so just warm and wonderful and I immediately rooted for her and this is in my opinion the best that Nal Mater's ever been he's kind of bitter and resentful at the beginning but then as he keeps writing these letters he just gets more squishy and lovely and wonderful <laughs> and I thought the two of them had incredible chemistry the ending is so satisfying between the two of them and like I said you get a lot of other little relationships like Michael Gross is really great as her dad and he's still kind of grieving trying to figure everything out and then you have Cardi Wong is in this who's one of our favorites you have Giles Patton who's like the the other guy but I thought that that was all handled really well and uh, and he kind of has a nice place to end the movie and uh, it, everybody in this movie is just really lovely and you enjoy seeing all of their stories and all of them come together and uh, so I, don't know, I just I love it I, I love all the acting I love the story I love all the Christmas feels I think it has everything that you could want in a movie and this weekend I actually had the opportunity to get to interview Sarah along with her co-star Ryan McPartland in the Twinkle All the Way which is one of my favorites from this year uh, and then, then the director Brian Herslinger and so that interview I'll put a link to it uh, in the in the description you can check it out over on Hallmarkies podcast but it was such a fun thing to get to interview them after I had gushed about the, their movie on the podcast because I really did enjoy it a lot and so definitely check out that interview uh, but if you really if you want a really high quality a Christmas movie about this whole town that's writing each other letters. I think you'll really enjoy Christmas Pen Pals. I certainly did. I think it's one of the best. And I, I think that you'll really, really enjoy it. And uh, so, and has a really great final kiss. It's, it's very good. <laughs> so there we go. That's my thoughts on Christmas Pen Pals. I hope you like it as much as I did. I was looking on uh, IMDb and usually there's a bunch of people who don't like the Hallmark movies on IMDb. But this, I think, shows how likable and wonderful this movie is because uh, it has, I think, seven reviews. Nine out of 10, 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Like that's really unusual for a Hallmark or Lifetime movie. So it's it's pretty pretty well liked. And I just think if you are looking for this kind of entertainment, it's one of the best. Uh, so check it out and please subscribe to my channel. Please consider becoming a patron of my work. I really, really appreciate it. And then go over to Hallmarkies podcast and check out that. We would love to have your your thoughts. So thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye.